the vlog. I'm Gabby from Gabadashery and I'm really happy you could join me. Today uh, we are going to do fabric haul which is yeah basically my favourite of all the vlogs because I get to be really excited about the fabrics and the things that I'm going to make over the next month or so. Um, so yeah I've got loads and loads to show you. I was car booting again yesterday and picked up something that I'm really excited about. I also um, got sent a lovely delivery from FC Fabrics because they wanted me to see their new fabrics. Um, so I've got them to show you and some others that I've picked up from last November that I haven't shown you yet or haven't been made into something yet. So I better crack on because there's a lot. Right, okay, so yesterday uh, I was I was at Chiswick Car Boot, which is my favourite of all the car boots. I know a lot of people ask about these car boot sales and um, the first Sunday of every month is Chiswick Car Boot. It's held in Chiswick School Grounds. So it's absolutely ginormous. It is a lot better in the summer um, because it's even bigger than they've got this big field or the spring I guess, but when it gets warmer and less muddy um, there's a big field that opens up that is even bigger than normal. Um, so yesterday there was a couple of playgrounds and like the outside of the field, so there were probably, I don't know, 50, 60 stools, but yeah when it really gets going and warmer it's about 200 stools, so it was exciting anyway and um, there was one stool that uh, they were selling fabrics from the Designer Guild who are a Chelsea shop. I think they might be elsewhere, but I've only seen it in the King's Road. Um, selling very, very high-end furnishings and um, curtains and things. And anyway, they were getting rid of loads of fabric that they didn't want anymore. And I am so pleased I was there for this. They had wool. So look at this beautiful, beautiful royal blue, ro royal, <laughs> I can't speak, royal blue wool. It's just stunning. Oh, love it. Um, it's been washed already and it's dried and I'm so excited. So I got two pieces. This is about two and a half meters. Um, and then this is about one and a half and they are as similar as you're going to get really. I know that they're not quite the same but what I have in mind these are going to be the arms and this is going to be the main body and I think that will work really well and uh, and the whole lot was five pounds <laughs> um, and I also was just about to leave and I saw this yellow glinting through one of the piles that I hadn't ruffled through quite enough and it's just this really heavyweight yellow linen but I'm going to make the um, the collar and maybe pockets but something else contrasting, maybe piping. <gasps> oh I'm so going to do the piping. Oh I hadn't thought of that until just now, that would be so beautiful. In the yellow because they go so well together and you know yellow and blue, my favourites. Um, so the pattern I'm going to make with these beauties, I'm just going to leave them here so you can see. Um, is the number four London coat by How To Do Fashion. Um, How To Do Fashion is a pattern company I'd been aware of, kind of, you know, on Instagram and stuff, but I hadn't really looked into. And I really wanted to make a swing coat and uh, lots of people sent me suggestions on Instagram because I asked, um, you know, for coat pattern ideas. And I just none of them were quite what I was looking for. I really wanted kind of a proper vintage style 50s style I guess um, swing coat and uh, these yeah this pattern is just perfect for it it's beautiful it's got really nice design lines I love the collar um, and I just love the shape of it and I also love the fact that with a belt you can tie it up and it looks a lot more form-fitting but it's exactly what I had in mind um, so yeah they are going to be the number four London coat I've already got the PDF stuck together and cut out so I'm hopefully going to be cutting that out this evening which is so exciting I'm trying to work out what to line it with I've probably got something in my stash but I need to properly look through um, definitely something with yellow and blue would be nice but but yeah, I want something really bright and colourful to line it with and maybe something warmish as well because my warmest coat um, that I made is lined with kind of quilted 
cotton with like proper backing like wadding and it's the warmest thing ever but I get so cold I need that in a big winter coat and if it's lined with something just kind of flimsy lining it doesn't really get that much wear um, so yeah so I'm gonna hopefully find a really good thick lining to go with it okay so that's it from the car boot sale um, now the FC Fabrics mini uh, haul here. So yeah, they sent me an email and said, oh, would you like to try out some new fabrics um, of ours? And I was like, yeah, that's like my favourite thing to do in the world. So, <laughs> um, so I was a bit surprised that they didn't let me choose. That's my only thing, because if you're going to send someone fabrics um, that might not be for them then it's kind of a bit of a quandary as to what to do with them and I'm afraid two out of three I do feel a bit like that I'm just being honest I don't I don't know what I'm gonna make with them I don't know if I'm at liberty to pass them on for instance if Megan wants them I would happily give them to her I'm seeing her tomorrow so I might do that um, but anyway I'll show you them and maybe you'll go actually you should make this with it it would really work but I just personally don't think they're very me so I'll start with them um, they are still really beautiful fabrics by the way and they're lovely quality and really quite special actually but just grey I've never really worn light grey um, I don't know if it kind of washes me out yeah I think it does but anyway it's got sparkles sparkly grey sparkly grey sparkles sparkles <laughs> that's my song I wrote a song for it so it's not that bad um, but yeah it's kind of as you can see a little on the transparent side but I think it could make a really cool like maybe just a Paula turtleneck actually now I'm starting to think that that could be really fun um, then I could wear it with my black velvet Clio hmm I don't know does it wash me out okay you guys are going to help me with this one should I proceed and make something like a Paula turtleneck or should I pass it on to someone else um but it is beautiful it's really soft and really lovely hmm yeah I like it um this one again it's just not me I'm not a fan of shiny fabrics I'm afraid and satin just for me personally um so this is full-on shiny fabric satiny thing um, it's got a lovely drape to it and it if I hadn't already made a long dressing gown and something like this that's exactly what I would make is a dressing gown so um, oh, I think I have an idea my friend um, he's not a sewer and won't be following this vlog so it doesn't matter but she is expecting in March and maybe I can make her a dressing gown. That's a nice idea, actually. Okay. All right. So I think I probably will make something with it. Not for me, but it's still lovely, lovely fabric. It's really soft, high quality. They're probably all high street fabrics because that's what um, FC Fabrics supply for Enter Fashion, who are a factory that make clothes um, for for high streets so yeah people like Zara, M&S, H&M, uh, yeah so Henny's so yeah they're very very high end lovely fabrics and then my favourite my piece de resistance is this burgundy velvet oh it's gorgeous it's so so lovely it's got such a nice drape to it it's stretchy as you can probably tell yeah, that might not show up so good on the camera um, but yeah it's really really lovely um, I love that colour so I'm wearing lipstick today for one of the first times ever um, because my mother-in-law gave me a lipstick set and I thought oh I'll try it today and I really like this colour actually it's like kind of dark plummy pink and it goes very well with this um, I know exactly what I'm going to make in this and I need to get a wiggle on because my next um, Simple Sew project for the Simple Sew blog, which has just had a massive revamp, you need to go check it out, simplesewblog.com. We've got lots of lovely new um, sewers and bloggers and yeah, it's, it's a really exciting time for us. But I'm making the Lena wrap dress next and I've wanted to make that for ages. So I'm going to make it in this, in my burgundy velvet. Um, and that will be out next Monday so yeah I better kind of that's my weekend sewing project is that um, 
Okay, and then things that I picked up recently that I haven't had a chance to show you yet. Um, this is a plain fabric. I know I've, I've been buying plain fabrics recently. I don't know what's going on with me, but I love it. It's kind of like a rust. Um, cotton, heavyweight cotton. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what this is. Maybe a drill. It's really, really soft on one side. It's kind of like got um, a mole skin quality to it. It's really soft, but got a little bit of a nap. But I don't know what it is. Can you see it? Can you see the nap? Um, I got it from Abacan in Liverpool when I was up for So Saturday. And there's definitely a good two meters there. So I'm hoping I've got enough, but I'm a bit worried I haven't, um, to make the cinnamon trousers, which is Coco Wawa's new pattern. And I always love Coco Wawa patterns. The moment they come out, I'm like, okay, everything is off the sewing queue until I've made these. So that's basically how I feel about the trousers. Um, I'm thinking that I might make just the ones without any ruffles and pleats, because I kind of just want to see what they're like. And in this fabric with like a little cropped trouser, I think that looks so cute especially as I've got lots of hand knitted jumpers to wear um, with it and I yeah so I'm kind of excited about that and then if I do want to add any ruffles or pleats I might have to do it in another fabric anyway so maybe some kind of contrasting navy or something I don't know anyway I'm definitely gonna make these into cinnamon trousers in some way or other um, because I think they would make the best trousers and keep me really really warm uh they're lovely and autumnal and i kind of think you know that works all year round really so yes they are great sorry i'm just crumpling them up and throwing the fabrics away <laughs> how awful of me okay um next up uh from the same trip from that abacan trip um because i think this by the way was in a bucket that was like 50p a meter so yeah I had to get that. Um, oh no, it was a filler bag for five pounds. I remember now. So filler bag for five pounds. I got that. And then these two and loads of other kind of like um, navy linens and things that I'm going to start using when spring comes around. But I got these two as well because you just can't say no to stripey ponty. Um, it's actually more like a sweat in it. It's like a French terry. In fact, it's not a ponty at all. It's a French terry. It's got this lovely, soft, loop back side to it. Um, really great quality. I love this kind of, it's like a weave. Um, so it's got a nice amount of stretch, but not too much. Um, and the blue as well, blue and gray. So yeah, so I do wear grey after all, I lied. Um, <laughs> uh, so I love these both so much and I have been kind of wondering what to make in them because there's not that much of each. In fact, that's a metre. So I think it's got to be um, some, because they're both really wide, that's got to be bigger than a metre. Yeah, I think that's like two metres and that's a metre. So I have a bit of an idea. Again, this is all coming to me while I'm talking to you now because actually I didn't realise I had so little of this because it's just been folded up since I got it. Um, and I just grabbed and put it in my bag <laughs> for the five pound bag. Um, maybe I could do a contrast cocoa. So um, this would be the body. And these would be the sleeves. I really like that idea, actually. I think that would be amazing. Yeah. Okay, that 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 might happen. Um, I might find something else in the meantime and get more excited by that, but I really love that idea. <laughs> and also because I've now got my denim Cleo, how cool would that look? So if I made these into a cocoa or a molly top, maybe so over it molly. Hmm. I don't know, I haven't worked it out yet. Or even an Agnes, but I think that it's too thick for an Agnes. Yeah, yeah, it'd be too thick. You need a bit more stretch for Agnes. So um, if I wore that with my denim Cleo, oh, that is so perfect and it's really cozy. Yeah, okay, that's, I'm really excited about making that. I didn't realize about the whole, I should put them together until just now and that's so perfect. 
<laughs> Yay! Okay, um, da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. last two pieces. So when I bought my denim for the last Clio I made um, at the John Lewis sale, I also came across baby cords and they were 350 a meter I think and I got green and burgundy. Um, burgundy I got three meters because I want to make the ivy pinafore but a straighter version so I've made the wide swingy tent version and now I want to make a straight version for the ivy pinafore. So yeah, burgundy. I'm really liking burgundy at the moment. I never used to, but yeah, I really like burgundy. Um, it's really soft. I mean, John Lewis, I know their fabrics are expensive, but when you get them in sale, they really are pretty cheap and the quality is amazing. So um very pleased about that. Because I was going to make this into another Clio. I thought a green Clio would be a lot of fun. Um, and I'm just a bit addicted to that pattern. Every time I wear it, I just feel joyful. Oh, I'm wearing one right now, in fact. So this is my bright pink, Cleo. Um, so yeah, the green would be quite good. I do like that idea. Um, I wish, I'm showing you the wrong side, by the way. That's the right side. Um, but yes, there is a meter and a half of this. So there's only so many things I could do with it. But I could also make a little skirt, which could be really cute. And one thing I've kind of wanted to do in a long time is make a little pinafore skirt with just straps. So instead of having like a bib and stuff, um, like a mini flared skirt uh, with just straps, kind of, you know, like suspenders that you could take off and on. But I think that could be really cute in this. So yeah loads of decisions to make i i always come to you with kind of flexible plans because whenever um i put out the video and i get all your lovely comments of oh gabby you should make this with that i completely go down that rabbit hole instead and i'm like oh no that's a much better idea than mine so thank you so much for all that because um yeah you completely inspire me with all of your ideas so thank you all right, that's it for my fabric haul and my rabbiting on. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm gonna be back next week with something that I am so excited to show you. Um, something that I've been cooking up for a long time and ooh, I can't say anything more, but there's a whole thing that's gonna go on over the next few months that's gonna kick off next week. And yeah, I just can't wait to get you all involved with this one. Um, so yes, on that note, I will love you and leave you. I hope you're all going to have a wonderful weekend, whatever you're doing, sewing, crafting, out with friends and family, just have a wonderful time and I will see you soon. Lots of love. Bye.